There's a new firmware update out today, which means you can use your ZV-1 as a webcam with just a USB cable. Let me show you how it's done. Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. Now, my question for you today is, do you own the ZV-1 or are you thinking about buying it? Let me know in the comments section below. Now, this is a camera that I've really enjoyed using. It's just a small pocketable camera and it seems to get better and better with these updates coming out all the time. Now, it's actually jumped from version one to firmware version two. And in this update, there's some bug fixes, but the main important thing is you can now use this for live streaming or just use it as a webcam. Perfect if you're doing a lot of Zoom calls or Google Hangouts at the moment. So I'm gonna jump into the Mac and I'll show you how it's done. So all you need to do is go to the Sony website and you can download the Mac or the Windows version. Now you can see here on the Mac version, it says that Mac OS Big Sur is not supported. So I'm gonna download that and give that a go. Now, before you plug in your camera, you wanna make sure that you check your current firmware version. And as you can see, ours is on firmware version 1.0. Next, you wanna make sure that you remove your SD card. Now, unfortunately, I can confirm I couldn't do the update on my 2020 MacBook Pro because I am using macOS Big Sur. I think it's a real shame that Sony have done this firmware update and are not supporting the latest version of Mac OS. Luckily, Lewis's iMac in the office does have the previous Mac OS version running on it, so we're now gonna switch over to Lewis's iMac and do the update on there. So we've plugged in the camera and all you need to do is hit next a few times and the update will happen. And this takes around 15 minutes. Okay, so now the firmware update is done. Let's unplug the camera and see how it works. Okay, so we've now done the firmware update. So you should now be able to just plug in a normal USB cable into your MacBook Pro or your iMac, even works with some Sony phones and use this as a webcam. So on my Mac, I'm using the Editor's Keys 8-in-1 USB dongle to plug this in. So before you plug in your ZV-1 to your Mac or PC after the firmware update, you need to change a little option in the Sony's menus. So go to the second option up here and then go down to page four and you'll see USB streaming down here at the bottom. So hit OK on that, and that will send you into the USB streaming mode. And this will then automatically show up the ZV-1 as a camera on your Mac or PC. So there we go, you can now see we are plugging in the Sony ZV-1 straight into the MacBook Pro, and we now have a super high quality webcam. And all you need to do is just select the, the ZV-1 as your input camera in any program that you're using and it works really well. I've tested out in Zoom, Google Hangouts, and even Apple's photo booth, and it works perfectly fine. So there we go, that's a pretty cool update, and it now means you can use the Sony ZV-1 as your business webcam, or you can use it when you're speaking to friends and family, or as your gaming live streaming webcam, which is pretty cool. Now, if it's your first time here on the channel, we do actually have a few videos about the Sony ZV-1, where we've tested out ND filters, gimbals, and we're gonna be doing a video with a new wide angle lens. So when you subscribe, to the channel just make sure you hit the notification bell if you want to see that video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one